ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to King Gamer. My name is Shark, and today we're going to be playing a lovely little indie game called Universe Sim. Um, basically, universe and sim put together into one single word. Anyways, so what is Universe Sim? Well, it is a simulator. Many like just like many of the other simulations uh, currently in early access on Steam so we are currently going to be playing the demo because it's in such early access that there's not much really to it I'm gonna skip the tutorial because the tutorial and the regular actual gameplay is pretty much the same um, if you are interested in playing the demo go ahead and go over to Steam look up Universe Sim download the demo and go through the tutorial yourself on your own um, you can even watch and play through with me um, but the tutorial is pretty linear it tells you pretty much exactly what to do now the main difference between the two doing the tutorial and not doing the tutorial is um, well it doesn't tell you what to do and that's about it other than that it's uh, essentially the idea of the game is basically like a god simulator like black and white kind of where you have a a whole planet to uh, do whatever you want to with it now there's not a, very much in the game right now so there's not a lot for me to actually show you now I personally have a problem with that because I'm only going to be able to show you 20 minutes worth at best uh, of gameplay and I don't really I'm I, you can't really good get a good review on a game that has so little in it so for example I've already played this through twice twice yes and unfortunately for the game let's see hold on real quick let me uh, grab let me get my two people doing stuff let me if you can grab some wood and so no so my bad my bad my bad Grab some wood and uh, rock so we can build stuff. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've played through this twice already. We already got some little kids. Man, they were fast with the fornications. Wow, the coitus was quick with this these ones. That actually segues into my issue that I have with the game. And I don't know if this is an issue that is... Uh, specifically because it's a demo and it was done on purpose and they know it was done or if this is an actual issue that I hope that they fix before the game releases and that is every single time I've played this game my f my civilization has died of starvation or died out because they weren't making coitus enough first time I played they wouldn't they wouldn't make the coitus and no babies were made and therefore my civilization died out um, the second time they wouldn't eat I had plenty of food lots of food was happening and it's they did they, they just wouldn't eat and I don't know why which is ridiculous so we have a few things we can do we can build a warehouse we can build a farm uh, the farm is very interesting because it allows you to well farm is this in queue in queue you're currently going let's put you in queue now I'm doing this this is the research research tree allows you to do stuff so you can see over here um, stockpiling allows you to uh, store foods in various climates unlocks the warehouse stuff like this this doesn't actually unlock things so you already have the warehouse you already have the farm unlocked uh, what is this what does this do unlocks cattle ranch so you do all these researches but in the demo it, they don't actually do anything again they're probably done on purpose uh, for the purposes of a demo so that you can't play very far you can't actually play the game very much so what can you do in the demo Although, this right here is actually quite awesome. If you see right here, you can see these are rain droplets. It's raining, and so therefore your camera has rain on it. It's actually kind of awesome. Um, we have two new people. We'll make one. Gather food. 
And then we are going to build... Um... Construction hut. Right here. Yes. Now the construction hut actually allows us to make two people designated constructionists. They repair the buildings, uh, they build buildings, etc, etc. Got a little, little ice on the screen now. Whoa. Can you not do that? That's crazy. Crazy. Do we got another baby? Oh no, we're waiting on... We need a builder. Funny enough, we need a builder. To be able to build our construction hut. Construction hut. Are they making coitus? No, those they're children. Look at her age. We got 25, 26, 17, and 17. I don't know what age is coming of age, which makes you an adult. There is one child. As you can see up here in the top, number of babies. Waiting on that small child to become an adult. Again, I don't know how long that actually takes you. Oh, they're making coitus. Don't look. Look away. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Well, um... Let me... Let me get some things going. Because as Sims are, this is a very, very slow-paced game. And since this is going to be a demo-slash-review type game, I want to get some things going. So... I'll see you in a moment. Guess I'll just go ahead and stop recording and then start recording here in a few minutes, maybe. Maybe go make a sandwich, some coffee, something. Yeah. Alrighty then, now we have here a lovely little building. Let me zoom in here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to go away. The, um, what was the button that turns? Eh, eh, no, no. This, there we go. Got some weird controls here. I don't mind the controls, they're just kind of difficult to get used to because they're kind of floaty. Feels a lot like playing in um, Max or Maya, which is aren't even games. So playing in them is really a relative term because you kind of have to be into 3D modeling to begin with. But it has kind of similar feel to it if you've ever used any of those. Uh, as far as the camera angle goes, wouldn't be surprised if they just kind of used the camera controls from game or uh, from 3ds uh, max <clears throat> or Maya or unity is this made out of unity I wouldn't be surprised I didn't take a look really doesn't matter what it's made in doesn't say I bet the splash art at the beginning when the game loads says but I didn't load that up for the purposes of this demo so anyways we got this here lovely little construction hut now if you click on it you can see here you can see 80% this is the epicenter building condition this goes down as the conditioning goes down I have no idea what this does you click on this turns purple click on this green thing turns white that's it that's all it's done now you can actually assign people to this building. This person will now be uh, essentially your repair man slash construction worker. You put it on balance. It will the your little nugget, which is what these guys are called, will walk around repairing building as as needed, helping out with construction as needed. We have another person. Or is this a baby? This is a baby. So we can actually come here take one of these people away from construction take one of these people away from that the rock put it into trees now we're nice and balanced come back to this click on here and now we have two people on the construction hut so we have it as balanced they will help whoever else is building they'll help with construction as well as repairs so now, on to the next thing. What are you building? I don't remember putting anything down here. This must be a hut. They must be, be building another uh, hut for another family. Because I didn't tell them to build anything. I are caveman. Now... The premise, or the idea, the scope of this game is actually crazy. The idea is that you start off with these little nuggets 
start off as literally cavemen. Oh, they're making coitus. And you guide them into building up an entire planet. There we go. Yeah, that's a hut. Okay. And we got another baby. There, right there. We got two number babies. Now let's build a farm. We're gonna build it. Uh, we need we need some we need some more trees. Let's uh come up here. Say no more rocks. We want trees. Go. And we have another person. You can help with construction. Very nice. The largest civilization I've had so far was 11 people before it started to die out. And that's simply just because the, uh, the, they got old and stopped eating. For whatever reason. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Let's speed up. I mean, we can get more food. I, at one point in time, I had three people. Two people were, were hunting and gathering one person was repairing the buildings. They still starved to death. They died of starvation. I had buckets full of food. I had a, a warehouse full of food. And they just wouldn't eat. Now, that brings up concern because I don't know if that was done on purpose by the developers um, to limit the amount of time you can play the game. Like, they purposely made it so that your civilization will die off. Or if that is something wrong with the AI of the uh, the nuggets here, and there's just not enough information here for me to be able to tell. Can y'all stop building and repairing stuff? Come on now, that's uh, you stop it, stop doing stuff. Um, we need trees. We have seven trees now. Go, go get the trees. I need the trees. Look at all these trees you can go get. Anyways. So back to what I was talking about, you can actually go to Steam, uh, go to Universum and see the video that they have up for it and the scope of their game, the, the broadness of their game. You start off as these, uh, these little nuggets on a barren planet and you build up a civilization to modern times. Uh, they eventually show skyscrapers, skyscrapers, skyscrapers in their demo um in their civilizations that they built in i'm guessing in home um mm -hmm. my question is because i don't think it actually comes up or says anything about this but it does show in the demo uh beings are, mm -hmm. are spaceships from outer space coming in and surrounding your planet so does that mean you get uh, if you advance far enough do you get interstellar planetary uh, travel and get to travel to other other planets and uh, terraform them and continue expanding your civilization beyond just your planet because if so not only is that a huge scope and very exciting but it is at the same time a huge scope that's massive that's crazy so if it's an early access now and we're waiting to see what it can, what they're going to do with it. I really hope that that's one of the things they plan on doing, is expanding it out to a point to where you are actually able to uh, go so far into development that you can develop and terraform other planets. It would be amazing. It would be amazing to just keep expanding and expanding, just like it were actual real life like that's exactly what we're trying to do now and the real life of the real what, who built this hut here I mean I guess I mean that, that's pretty that's pretty good design I'm not gonna lie right up against the rock like that so you got an outer wall a little yard like a makeshift fence yeah I, I get I dig it I dig it these guys they uh making coitus and all they got is this little flap right here Man, you can just look right in there and watch. That's the nasties. Nasties right here. How much? We're up to 32 woods. Okay. Can we build a farm now? We can build a farm. Build a farm here. Boom. Oh, we got a whole bunch of people. Um, We don't need you guys as much. Let's get that going. We'll go ahead and give you one. 
<clears throat> so we're up to 10 people. We got three babies. This civilization is doing very well for itself. We got more coitus coming. Very nice. Let's check on our epicenter here. Eh. Eh. Please. Maybe. Eh. There we go. Good repair. Decent hunger. People aren't starving to death. That's good. No one's died yet, I don't think. A uh, funny thing is that when people... Oh. When people die, they just fall over. Yep. I, I would hope that at some point in time, you can develop a way to honor your dead in the research. Look at all this research. Eh, eh, get away, get away, get away. So much research. Like somewhere in like this tree or this tree, we actually get the ability to... Uh, Ah, I like understand ourselves and start burying the bed instead of just them walk, you know, falling over dead. You should see something. I'm sure we got some people who are about to die of old age here. Um, let's see. We got someone who's 68 and someone who's fifth. Two people who are 59. Those people have lived for a very long time for cavemen, that is. And totem was researched. Huzzah! We can now pretend we know how to make totems. Let me zoom out here. See how little this is? We have a whole planet to do. A whole planet. The scope is amazing. Unlike other games where you do one city. Yeah, you can expand that city, but you're still doing cities. Eventually, I would assume, you can still do stuff like... Um, like a Sim City would have, or uh, the... Uh, what is the the prison simulations where you build a sim simulated prison and stuff like that you would still have miniature sims within the sim but it's such a massive scope that it's hard to keep track someone died didn't they died of old age oh well but we have a lot of available workers let's get people to work we'll have three people farming or whatever why is this farm not ready why is this? Why is my farm? Do I need to pause the game again? Let the coitus go through so that they can build the farm. Come on now, let's farm it up. Are you building? I need something to build. <laughs> no? Hmm. Well, we got some more births. We got. 12 total people of my largest civilization so far and three oh someone died <laughs> but we got three babies three beautiful babies someone build my farm dear lord got some fog rolling in see this nice little fog it's beautiful now there are some other things here that and that they that are going into play i can't show you yet because there's the farm As soon as this farm is ready, Chuno was born. Alright, we got a farm. So now, we can put one of these new workers, two of these new workers to the farm, and then choose a uh, something to plant. Now, planting, and, and this is goes into the what I was just talking about, how there's going to be miniature sims within the sim. So one of them is this the planting of the food, the crops. You actually have, like, there's a, ma a minimum temperature of 0 degrees with a maximum temperature of 35 degrees. I'm assuming this is Celsius because this is Celsius. So this is a very durable um, food here. But at the same time, it is negative 6 degrees right where these guys are. So you need something that can withstand very cold weather. I don't, I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know how hot it gets, but this yellow is telling me something already. Let's see if we can find something that can withstand cold. Plus, negative 15 degrees, but maximum of zero. <clears throat> Not going to work. Negative 18, maximum of 17. Hmm not gonna work I need you to hurry 
I need to know what temperatures this is about gonna be. Let's uh, get rid of these because they're bothering me. There we go. 15 degrees. Okay. Okay. Could be fine. Let's go ahead and plant, plant that. We're going to plant. We're going to plant the frost root. Frost root. Yes, plant the frost root. And now this will field will now yield 200 food. And the planters, they're planting. You see it being planted. And then another timer will start, which is 16 minutes to grow. So it's actually going to take 16 minutes for that food to grow, which will then be stored here. I don't know what the maximum store it, storage capacity of the farm is. But luckily, you don't have to worry about that too much because you can build a warehouse. So right next to this farm, we're going to build this warehouse right here. We'll have some people farm. Oh my god, I'm up to 14 people. That's crazy. Um, let's just do that. Yeah. We've got more coitus. Oh my god, look at the coitus. So much. Getting busy over here. Let's see if we can find a dead person. No, 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 no. See any dead people? We had at least two people die. There we go. Right there. This person's dead. Poor guy. Or girl. Just laying there. Like it. Oh, there's the other person. <laughs> uh, just, and then everyone just walks around like. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, they're fine. <laughs> they're fine. What are you talking about? Let's build. Build another. Another uh, field. And we will. Uh, plant some more. Someone just died of old age, but we got four more babies. Four more babies. Crazy. Whoa! Let's look around. Now, one thing you can't do, and I, again, I don't know if this is the demo or if this is the, um, how the game is meant to be played, but I can't put buildings somewhere else around the planet. I can't just start another civilization. I can only build off of this one civilization. This is rock formation. That's interesting. This is a random rock formation just out in the middle of nowhere. All by itself. Now if you're looking around like this and you're like, man, where did I put my civilization? Where did I put that? Click on your... Uh, epicenter picture right here takes you right there to it bam look at that beautiful do we have another plant can we plant some more they are planting are we doing it looks like we're doing it uh, as in building not not actually coitus although Someone was just talking about how they were frisky. Oh no, someone died of old age. Let's uh, put you there. Look at that, man. Busiest civilization thus far. I don't know. There's not much left I can actually do. Wait, we can build. We got a farm. We got. We can build an eatery. Yeah, we already put the warehouse down. Uh, what is that? We already put the that down. Oh, we can build some fires. Here we go. <clears throat> we'll build a fire here. And we'll build a fire... Here... Here. That's a good spot. We'll build a fire... Here. That's mostly just for decoration right now because I don't think they actually do much. But it says defense. So, oh, look. Oh, I've never seen this before. I never had an animal before on my planet. Look, it's an animal. No. Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's a mammoth animal. Oh, what's this? It's a dead man animal. Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, it's beautiful. I didn't have animals before. Oh, it's so beautiful. What about over here? Do we have any fish? Any fish? No, no fish. It's okay. We don't need fish. Let's go back to our 
civilization here. I'm going to take a drink while we travel. This doesn't look like mine. This one looks like mine. Mm-hmm. Bam. <clears throat> 16 people. Oh, my Lord. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Let's uh, get some construction going. Go ahead and put... Fill that up. Mm-hmm. 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 What is this? Oh, it's the um, uh, warehouse. You guys need a bonfire. There you go. Merry Christmas. If you don't mind building that for me, let me just take a look around. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Best civilization ever. I can Im I can actually see myself actually enjoying playing this game very, 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 very slowly over time. Have it running in the background while I'm working and just kind of building stuff up every once in a while. Just making sure my people don't die and continue prospering, stuff like that. Problem with it that I have at this moment, the reason why I can't, is mostly because there's no audio controls. There's nothing I can actually do like I can't it automatically plays the sound there's nothing in here that allows you to turn the sound off nothing nothing at all again probably due to the fact that it's a demo of very very early access and it's extremely limited as is I still find enjoyment playing it so that's a good thing uh, it won several rewards at uh, the most recent GDC in Prague, right? If I remember correctly, let me see if I got notes. While well, they're doing stuff, they're they're not paying attention. Let's see what they're they're not paying attention. Um, let's see. What was since players' choice uh, best upcoming indie 2015 feature got number one. Um, I hope this isn't a video. Do, 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 do. NDDB. Actually, we had a game when I was actually in college. We had a game in development that actually got to number two on this exact list back in 2012. So this is actually a very important list. So the Indies of the Year 2015 uh, NDDB choice number one was in fact Universal. So that's huge for the game. Even with the small amount that you actually have available to play that is still huge so it is planned to come out to windows max linux xbox and ps4 so there is going to be quite a large audience for this game and again uh go to steam to play the demo i believe people are starting to die here oh and we got two more adults no you know never mind Let's see if we can uh, see who died. I wish this button worked properly. It kind of flashes in and out. I don't know why. This might be something to do with like um, actually flash or something. What are other programs similar to flash? I can't think of anything right now. But um whatever something is there's probably something on my computer that needs to be updated causing this to flash uh, still an issue that that is an issue if that made sense all right if you have epilepsy don't look at the screen right now or prone to headaches died of old age ah my eyes Chateau was exhausted after coitus. Makes sense. Um, Alright, so people are dying of old age, not hunger. So that's a good thing. Uh, it, I was very disappointed the first time I played through this. Like, I, I really was. I was very upset by the fact that people were dying because they just refused to make babies. This is the largest, literally the largest... Uh, civilizations I've done this is the third time to play through so it's actually expanding quite well 
Unfortunately, I just can't do anything with it because you have to have the research to actually really build anything. Like, I can't do uh, husbandry. I've discovered that some animals are docile enough to be farmed. Why is this called husbandry? Really? That's called husbandry? Um, okay. Um... But anyways, that is supposed to unlock a cattle ranch. I would assume cattle ranch would be here in the resources. And it just isn't unlocked, so. What are you going to do? We're going to watch our civilization grow. However, I'm not going to force you to watch the civilization grow. I want you to go through, play the demo, do it yourself. See how big of a civilization you can go with such limitations that have been currently placed into the demo. What can you do? Because at a certain point... You got, you got nothing left to do but to watch people grow. So what was this? The eatery? We haven't done the eatery. Why haven't we done the eatery? Why can't I do the eatery? I've built an eatery before. It says I need 15 rocks and 5 wood. Pretty sure I got 15 rocks and 5 wood. Just saying, game. Just saying, you know what I mean, game. Mm hmm. Something's not right here. Um, something's not right. So, no one built my, my warehouse? Why no one build my warehouse? Build my warehouse. Go. Build it. Let's zoom in here. Take a look at. Uh, Ah, I see. I see. Um, the two construction workers died of old age. Let's uh, repair. Am I missing someone? Oh. Did someone just die? No, we're good. Right. There actually gets to a point in the game where it uh, starts to take on its own mind and literally kills itself off. Uh, so the epicenter is bad. We are on full repair. We have two people repairing. Uh, we have food. People are going to start starving to death. Uh, we have people dying of old age. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just going to slowly go down here for me because I can't continue. I can't do anything to stop it. Um, so, that is going to be it for me today, because I can't build the eatery, for whatever reason. It won't let me build the eatery, even though I know for sure I, ha I can. I have, the, I have the resources to, but it won't let me build it. And I don't know why. It says it's locked. And it's not... I've never unlocked anything in here. The three times I've done it. So I, it's, it can't be something as far as research goes. Who knows? Who knows? Look at look at my plants. My plants. I got three minutes of growing left. It's so cute. Oh my god. Yeah. And then once uh, these finish growing, these farm hands come over here and start gathering stuff. It's pretty awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for me today. Don't forget to go over to Keen Gamer and check out all our other um, uh, game reviews, written reviews, giveaways, etc., etc. As well as don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to check back and see get more information. Again, more game reviews, giveaways, etc., etc. Kind of like coalesce. They work together, you know what I mean? Website and YouTube channel working together to do the same thing. Yeah, it's a, it happens and stuff like that. So, yeah. I love my mammoth. Look at my mammoth. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Uh, I wonder if I can hunt. Uh-oh. Ulur is feeling frisky. Okay. That's it. Like, subscribe, come back, see more later. That's going to be it. Oh my god, where's my epicenter? Say goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.
bye bye for now.